Welcome to the second episode of our Cook Islands vlog. In case you missed the first part, click here to check out what we got up to in Rarotonga. This island blew us away with its beauty and the sheer number of amazing things to do, from snorkeling and scuba diving to hiking through the jungle and of course some wonderful cultural experiences. Get ready for part two where we travel to Aitutaki and explore more of the gorgeous Cook Islands. This morning we're going on a day tour to Aitutaki, which is one of the islands about an hour away from Rarotonga. It's meant to be even more beautiful than this place, so we're really excited for that. We're going to do a boat cruise, a bit of a barbecue lunch, a bit of snorkeling I'm sure, and drink some beers on this insanely beautiful place. I'm really excited for it. I wanna go this We just got to the lagoon, we're about to jump on the boat and go on our tour. I don't know if you can see the colour of that water, but it is the most insane shade of blue I have ever seen. I think it's going to be an amazing day today. Just made it to our first little island on the Aitutaki day tour. I thought Rarotonga was paradise, but this place is just next level. My left hand there when I lose my balance, my hand is always there to protect me from this sharp stick. So what I'm showing you guys right now is one of our competitive sport here in Cook Island. In the Cook Island we have our own version of the Olympics. Okay, it's called Mane Games. One of our traditional sport is Husky Coconut. The record for the main Husky Coconut here in the Cook Island is 3 seconds. This would have to be it. Like, look at this. Right, that 
tour came to an end, it's time to get on the bus and head to the airport. That area is the most beautiful area I've ever seen in my life. Blue waters, white sands, oh, it's breathtaking. I almost don't want to tell you guys where it is, so... If don't come here. Yeah, don't come here. It's horrible. It's not worth it. Wink, wink. I can't wink. Well, that really sucked having to leave this island. We're about to get on the plane, go back to Rarotonga. I mean, Rarotonga is awesome, but this place is pretty magical. I've got a feeling we'll be back though. Spent a couple of nights hanging out on that one foot island. 100%. Oh my god. Time to get on this little guy. Well, that day was absolutely epic. So we've come back to our accommodation, decided to crack a bottle of champagne. We we're going to go for a drive and try and find somewhere for sunset, but by the time we get around to the other side of the island, we may miss it. So we figured, why rush? We're in the Cook Islands. We should we're, just relax. We're on island time now. So we're gonna drink some champagne, have some guacamole, some crackers. Mm -hmm. Guacamole, the avocado is from our avocado tree. tree right in front of our cool safari tent. And we're gonna chill out. Enjoy this lovely spot to have a sunset champagne. Cheers, babe. Cheers. blowing up. It's our last full day here in Rarotonga so we've come down to Black Rock which is one of the most famous spots on the whole island. We came here the other night to shoot sunset. Anyway the high tide is in now so you've got this beautiful blue water around the rock and we're gonna go for a bit of a snorkel. Some locals have told us it's a really good spot to go out maybe spot some different fish that we haven't seen on the other side where the lagoon is. So Alicia's heading there now to check out the water probably climb up on the Black Rock and see what it's like and time to get in the water. It's our last night here in the Cook Islands, so we're off to the Highland Paradise cultural Yay. event, which is what Alicia won tickets for the other day at the markets for her epic dancing. So if anybody ever pulls you up at the markets to do a, learn some dancing on stage, do it, because you might win awesome prizes. This is one of the main things to do here in Rarotonga. There's a whole bunch of dancing. We're going to learn a bit about the history of the place. Yeah. Probably eat a lot of food too. Yes, that's really good. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're going to eat a Alicia, lot of food. Alicia agrees. <laughs> There was a lot more to the Highland Paradise Sunset Tour than just eating delicious food. We learned all about the people and history of the Cook Islands through stories, reenactments, music and dance. So last day here in the Cook Islands and that means we've got to go out with a bang. So we're going to do the Ramaru Trek, which is one of the Ooh. coolest things you can do here in Rarotonga. It's a fairly new track. We just got to the start of it and it looks pretty jungly. Wow, look at that. Our yeah. flight's in like four hours, so hopefully we can get up there and get back in time. The tourism board have put these QR codes along the whole way. You scan it and it pops up with this little information page to tell you what you're doing. Forest is actually pretty different to the Cross Island track. We've got pine trees here, which are cool, instead of the big lush ferns that we found on the other hike. Covering the ground in pine needles. Smells amazing. And I think we're about halfway to the top now. And if you look through the trees, the views are getting pretty nice. See the ocean out there.
We're almost at the top now. There's just one last section to do. We have to climb up here. We've got some ropes and apparently up the top is a magnificent view of whole, the whole way around. Well, not the whole way around. No, 180. Uh, 270? 270. 180. So you know those little QR codes that were found along the path? Well, one of them told us that at the top are red strawberry guava fruit. And this is one of the trees. Apparently all you do is you find a red one. That one's kind of red. Bite the top off and suck. <laughs> Pretty good. Well, the views at the top here are really nice, but we just went and poked our head out the other side. It looks like a big rain cloud's rolling in. So we're going to climb back down that steep little cliff section before it gets too wet. Head back to our accommodation, have a shower, and then that's it. Time to go to the airport. The airport. That's what we got to try and beat back down the hill. It looks nasty that way. Bye Ikurangi Eco Retreat. Bye pool that we never actually used because we spent all that time in the ocean. But you still look beautiful. Bye mountains. Bye car. And that's it for our one week here in the Cook Islands. It was fantastic. We don't want to leave. We're about to get on the plane and we're, we're already thinking about booking a trip back in the future. It's just incredible here. Can't believe the colour of the water here. The beaches are just mm. next level beautiful. The mountains are awesome. Make sure you add it to your bucket list. 100% do add it. We promise it's incredible. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye guys. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as we bring out a new video every week. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next adventure.